It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Hi, this is Gary Shorman, and this is The Forum on Eagle Television. It's great to have you watching our program here this evening. Our guest is Dina Patti, and Dina is a brand new city commissioner over in the city of Ellis. Nice to join yes. us on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, you know what? Um, when I was just looking at this, I thought, boy, here's somebody that woke up one morning and said, hey, I want to be a city commissioner in my town. What caused that to happen? Um, you know, I've just, I've, you know, I've always wanted to be more involved, wanted to be involved in the community. And, you know, you kind of have that civic duty thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, just some of my friends were on the council and they're like, hey, come join us. You should run. It'll be great. So I did. And obviously <laughs> you're elected and, and you were ele elected last August, but then come into play and you start actually go to uh, to work in the first part of January. Right, we were sworn in uh, January 9th. And so January 9th right now, so you've been at it a couple of months. Mm -hmm. Was it what you expected? Um, it's a lot more detailed. Um, the funny part about city politics is we all like to move at the speed of us and the city politics move at the speed of city okay. politics, which is very slow and it's kind of, it was kind of an eye opener when I started that you know, why can't we just make the decision and move forward? But there's a lot of, between the topic coming up and the topic being decided and finished and moved on, there's a lot that goes on in between. And you see that, and, and you have to be careful because there's always seems like, I say there's two sides, but sometimes there's like five sides to the story. Right. Have you run into that some as well? You know, that's something that's kind of getting started on a few things. There's, you know, some, some issues going on in town that every town has them. There's, there's, it, we're nothing new. And, and it is, it's very, it's very intriguing because you think you've got it down and then there's a whole new way to look at it. And then someone else brings up an, another point. And yeah, like you say, there's five sides to everything. Now, talk about your background a little bit. You decided to run for office. And what is your background? What is your experience for that when you were running your campaign? I have worked with the, uh, the Ellis Alliance for nine years. Um, I've been in and out working with my boys when they were little. I worked with those uh, with their classes in school, um, volunteered in other classes in school. So really, as far as politics goes, I've got zero experience whatsoever. So your background is is being brand new and a new <laughs> face at that sort of thing. Huh? Yeah, sometimes just a you know a fresh set of eyes can can be a a, a game changer. Now, when you go in, do, do you have do you come in with uh, uh, you know you have some friends that were there. Mm -hmm. The expectation of what you have to do, conflicts that you might run into, any of those sort of things that you've run into along the line? Oh, yeah. And, and you know, we're going to face some of those here pretty soon with the budget time, but uh, my office is funded by the city, so I can't get up from my council chair and go present my spiel about my office and why you should still fund me and, and then go sit back down in my chair and then be part of the discussion. That's just not possible. Um, then there's a couple other places I work with in town that I'll have to refrain from those discussions. But, you know, there's something with everything. Someone's got a conflict. You know, it's nothing new. Uh, you, you have to abstain every now and again. But you know what? I, th I think you're right. At any board or any committee you're on, those are some of the things you run into. And you do have to try to be fair and say, hey, I can't be a part of that particular conversation just for that very reason. Right, right. You know, there's, there's a lot of things everybody especially in a small town mm -hmm. is involved in everything mm -hmm. so you've got a hand in something and someone else has the same hand and so yeah it gets very confusing at times but then i mean you do you have to step back and if it involves you financially or or you know you or your spouse then it becomes a conflict and so you just have to step away you and i were laughing earlier about tweeting things and and you know <laughs> our president right now he has a lot of business interests that they talk about conflict and when you get to smaller towns, you're right, there's a lot of that overlap of what happens. But I think if you're going to run for a city office, you have to have a bigger picture view. And obviously, people knew you were involved with that, and you still were the largest vote getter. Yes. Um, thank you all to, the, to those who voted. Uh, I did receive the most votes, and, and that was kind of a shocker. I really did not expect that. Um, but I do have some, some views of Ellis. You know, I, I did not grow up here. I am not from here. I'm kind of a transplant, but I really do love Ellis. I do love our community, and I, I want us to move forward. And, you know, there's things that we can do, and there's things that we can do easier, and, and there are things that you've got to go the same old pace. But, you know, let's, we, we, we've got to keep moving forward. I like the way you're taking a look at this. How do you deal with the state? Because there's, you know, you have, not only do you have the state, 
you're trying to do your job, but then you have the state that's trying to do their job, and they have their set of rules, and there's a federal government. That's a whole other ballpark. But how do you deal with the state? Has that been an easy thing to understand or not? Right now, I'm still learning, and that's probably one of the most eye-opening things is the amount of stuff to learn and to figure out. Um, when I decided to run last June, I went, and, and they start sending you the council packet. It's all the information that they're going to discuss. And so I was kind of, I followed along, and so I was kind of up to speed when we started. But, man, there is a ton of stuff to learn, and, and you don't just jump in in the middle of it and think you're going to run. So it, it, it's definitely a learning curve. Talk about the commission in general. Uh, are they, are you, is it good to get along with that group? Does everybody seem to get along pretty well? Yeah, we all get along. We all have our own, we all have our own opinions. Mm -hmm. And That's good. sometimes yeah. you just have to agree to disagree and, and, you know, again, move forward on the, pro on the process, so. Well, I'm excited. Anybody that comes on this program, we talk about that. Anybody that wants to donate the time, really, because that's what you're doing. You bet. You're donating the time to make your community better. That's a big step. And you just mentioned the, the one small part of you get the packet that comes out that literally takes hours to go through and even more hours if you want to understand it and try to follow up that way. But you also start getting those calls, those neighborhood <laughs> conversations. And I don't know if you keep track of those, but I bet you've had a few of those even with your early start of people with good suggestions for you. Oh, yes. You know, I mean, everyone's got, it's that armchair quarterback thing. We're mm -hmm. all better in the chair than the guy on the TV. But, um, yeah, we've had a few discussions so far. And, you know, you just, you really, you're out there doing what people want you to do. And you try to do the best you can. And you just have to know that you're not going to make everybody happy. And there's always a winner and a loser on every situation. So you just try and make everything as seamless as possible, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in between. Well, I do have, there is some fun news here that you were just nominated or selected for a great award, and we're gonna take a break and come back and talk about that. Okay. All right, back with more with Dina Patti, who is the new Ellis City Commissioner. More after this from Hayes Med. Hayes Med is your first and best choice for healthcare. They're the only facility providing tertiary level services in this region. With more than 70 physicians and 26 specialties, ranging from heart, orthopedic, spine care, cancer, obstetrics and gynecology, wound care, rehabilitation and surgery, including the Da Vinci robotic surgery, Hayes Med is your comprehensive health provider for people throughout Western Kansas. Hayes Med, helping people be healthy. Are you frustrated with Wi-Fi dead zones in your home? It happens when you don't have Pulse, the cutting-edge Wi-Fi solution from Eagle Communications. A Pulse-certified Eagle technician maps your home, then installs a dual-band modem and router, plus discrete access points to deliver wall-to-wall Wi-Fi with no dead zones. Pulse powers all your family's devices in all the places you love to live. Get Pulse. Wi-Fi made simple. Only from Eagle Communications. Call today. Welcome back to the second half of our forum here on Eagle Television. Dina Petit is our guest, and you know what? If you have questions, comments, maybe even something you'd like to hear about on a future program, please let me know. Gary.Shorman at Eaglecom.net. Don't put an E in Shorman, it'll go to somebody else. Gary.Shorman at Eaglecom.net. We're talking about the city of Ellis. Our guest is new city commissioner, Dina Petit. And Dina, you were, we went into the break talking about an award you just received. Well, you were selected for one of 10 awards called the We Can Award. What about that award? What is it? Uh, that is, a, is an awesome award um, from the Kansas Sampler Foundation. Marcy Penner down in Inman, Kansas, and her foundation gives these awards to people across the state. You have no idea that you're up for them. You have no idea if you win them until they show up. And uh, the one that I received was um, for doing it all, all out. What does that mean? And it how means, did you get the award? I mean, what, did they uh, uh, sneak up on you? They did. They did. <laughs> um, it was, you know, I just, I put everything I have into my job because I love Ellis and I just, I just want to make it a better place. And so um, they kind of know that, that whatever needs to be done, I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best. And, and like I've told people that have come and helped me, um, if you know something, tell me because I'm going to put you in the middle of something and we'll just figure out how to get to the edge. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I kind of I throw myself into things. I create my own monsters. But um, <laughs> this past June, they came out and they called about 10 minutes ahead of time, I found out, to our city office and say, gather some people and meet us at Dina's office and don't go in. 
So I had some, someone from the community came in and goes, well, are we supposed to meet here? And I said, what are we meeting for? And he goes, oh, I don't know. I'll see you later and walks out. And so I still didn't have any clue. <laughs> and uh, about five minutes later after that, there's a whole slug of people that come to my office and they present me with a beautifully hand-thrown uh, uh, hand plate, ceramic plate, with the We Can, um, with the Kansas Sampler Foundation logo on it and the We Can information. So it was very, it was very touching. That is, that is cool when you talk about people in any community that do something like that to get recognized and have people come around to do that. What a fun time that is to, to do yeah. that. Congratulations Thank on that. you, thank you. And is there, you know, when you talk about only one of 10 in the state, uh, that's pretty special as well. It is. It was very humbling um, because I don't, I don't do anything for people to notice me. I am the biggest wallflower there ever was. I just as soon stay on the outside and, and cheer everyone else on. But uh, yeah, for, for me to be selected, that was, that was a great honor. Well, congratulations. On Thank that. you. Well, we'll wrap up and ask, what, what's going on in Ellis? Oh, wow, we've got so much going on right now. We're getting ready for spring break. And the, the tourism committee, which is now back underneath the city, they are planning a spring break um, museum ticket break, I guess you could yeah. call it. Uh, the, you can come over and visit any of the three museums or all three museums for a very low price of $5 for an individual or a family of four for 15. And that gets you the train ride at the, at the railroad museum as well. Um, and then in, uh, in April, we've got the ladies fair coming up on the 29th. Then of course we have our memorial services, and then in June we're doing a new, brand new thing. Instead of Riverfest, we're doing a back road, back road blowout with the Jake Gill, with Jake wow. Gill. He's a an up and coming country artist, so we're going to have a concert on a You're Friday find night. Find a back road somewhere. Yes, we will. <laughs> yes, we will. Hope you let us know about that. Jordan and I may want to come over that back road. We're kind we'll, of back road kind of guy. We'll have a good time. I can tell you that. It'll be a lot of fun and. And just looking forward to a little bit of a change of pace and, and uh, get some people back in town to see what we have. We've, Ellis is full of things. We just, you just got to look a little bit. Well, I appreciate those, some of those things because the community puts a lot of work into those as well. And I was just thinking about, you know, just coming over and some of the history with the museum over there, putting that together, being able to ride on the train, do that sort of thing. Just makes for a fun weekend and a fun time to, to take the kids over and see something really cool, whether you're coming from Joaquini, Goodland, Abilene, stop by and, and try some of that. You bet. I mean, our museums are fantastic. Um, you don't know until you walk in how much history we have and how much information is, is packed in those museums. They're, they're phenomenal. Well, Dina, congratulations on being a new city commissioner over there, but I really enjoy your enthusiasm for the city in general, and, and our communities need more people like you out there promoting what's going on and making sure things happen. Thank you. I appreciate that. Dina Petit, the new Ellis City Commissioner, has been our guest here on the Forum program. The Forum is brought to you by Hayes Med and by Eagle Communications, our community connected. It's a beautiful day in our super high-speed internet, great customer service neighborhood. Like you, this is where we live. In fact, our company is employee-owned, so it's our goal to improve the quality of life for everyone in our community by delivering faster, more reliable internet, clearer, more feature-laden phone service, quality TV channels, all with the level of customer service you'd expect from people who are your neighbors. Eagle Communications, our community connected.